and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone here in sunny Florida. It's going to be a beautiful day. Heading down to Punta Gorda to see my friend Tammy DeCaro from Tammy DeCaro Art. There's a big art festival going on down there and she's got a booth. I go down and visit, give her a little relief, let her go uh, get a nice beverage and maybe some lunch. But uh, love walking around the um, the art shows, which they have here almost every weekend. <clears throat> Very close, excuse me. We're working on a reuse canvas today. It's a 20 by 20. I have painted my sides with just some extra paint that I had. This is um, Amsterdam Pewter. Love, love this neutral shade. Um, our base coat is slop bucket paint. What is this? It's just a bunch of drippings that I scraped from my um, underneath from my drippings. Also leftovers that were in a cup after I finished the painting. I generally save my leftovers until the original painting is 100% dry. I cover um, a three ounce cup with a five ounce cup to keep them from drying out. And once my painting is 100% dry and I'm satisfied with it, then I dump any leftover paints in different containers, which I keep in a cabinet out of the sun. So this is probably some pearl, maybe some Vallejo pearl medium, some uh, neutral beige by Deco Art. Um, yeah, just a bunch of leftovers that marry well together. Now, I put it in a paper cup because it's easier for me to disperse with a little more control on my canvas. Yummy, yummy colors today. All my paints start off in a cup with a squeeze of GAC 800 little bit of paint or a little bit of pigment, how much it depends on the paint. People ask me all the time. This is uh, Golden Fluids in the Iridescent Pearl. Um, that's probably about a tablespoon of paint to two ounces of pouring medium. And that squirt of GAC 800, absolutely no water. Same with this. This is the Golden Fluids in the Iridescent Gold Fine. Mix the exact same way. My piggies. I disperse my piggies with GAC 800. I mix them up until they're a nice uh, creamy paste. And then I add my pouring medium to it. 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium. How much piggy to pouring medium? This is about a half a tablespoon of pigment to uh, an ounce and a half of the pouring medium. Every paint gets different attention. Um, some pigments and uh, some paints hold strong. If you find that your uh, paint loses its uh, pigment when you're adding your pouring medium, add a little bit more paint to it. That is Golden Fluids, the, I hope I say this right, Virid, Viridian Green Hue. <laughs> I can't pronounce half of these things. Next paint is lovely. Excuse me, pigment is lovely and it's very, very hard to see this magnificent color. This is TLP and that is their Black Forest dispersed with GAC 800 stirred up into a nice paste and then my pouring medium golden fluids in the teal golden fluids in the turquoise we're doing a little swiping today a little swishy swiping swiping um got my damp paper towels cut up here i might make them a little bit smaller it gives me a little bit of better control i tend to tilt my base coat off my canvas until there's very very little movement i look at that base coat as just a slick surface for these other colors to glide um, across. And that's one of the reasons why I paint my sides because our paints are thin. Let's take a look at that consistency. Another question that I get asked is, what's the consistency of your base coat? I try to get my base coat to the same consistency as my pore colors. 
if not a little bit thinner. So it leaves very little trace when the paint rolls off the popsicle stick onto the paint below. I still do drip test every once in a while and 90% of the time the paint that needs attention is my base coat color and the reason for that is I am used to the feel of these cups. I can almost mix my paint blindfolded because I know what that feels like. This is a larger container with a larger popsicle stick in plastic and not paper and if it feels right a lot of times it is not because of the density in this larger cup so usually do a drip test and like always or most of the time the base coat is a little bit thicker when you think that it's not so that's my story <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and put this base coat down and we're going to be doing a little swiping, swiping 101 or 102 or 103, whatever you want to call it. This is one of the classes I'm teaching at the Fluid Art Experience. I'm so excited. Coming at you May 23rd, 24th, and 25th in Asheville. Hotel Convention Center is right downtown, right across from the Chocolate Factory and pretty much anything you want to do and see. Two miles from the Biltmore Mansion, three miles from the, um, the uh, whatchamacallit, the Blue Ridge Parkway and the beautiful mountains and views and places to pull off and sit down and just look out into uh, God's country. So come on down. And then in July, it's me and my sister, Canella, here in Fort Myers, Florida. Smaller, intimate class in Fort Myers. And I'm, I'm just excited and I'm so grateful that um, I'm able to do these things. Grateful that I'm invited to these things. So enough chitty chatty guys. I want to paint. Let's put some music on. Let's get busy.
I used to think I'm the problem That I was way too sensitive We act on way too much Until I realized we were different types Carrying a different triggers Scaring us to death Forget the world outside Just for a while Some way We will be fine Safe place Just you and I Always I will wait for us to Can we slow